All right. Seems everything's working this time. Hey guys, this is Stephen French. I first want everybody to read the description either before or after watching this. A lot of important stuff there, but I'll get to that later. Just remember to do it. I'll remind you later. Okay. For those of you that either don't know me or I haven't told you what I've been working on, I have been writing a tricking app for the iPhone. It is a combo generator. I think it's a pretty awesome idea. And to my knowledge, hasn't been done before. But I started working this last summer, and I have it almost done. I still need to do a couple more things, and I need to buy a developer account from Apple in order to even put it on my own device and to put it on the App Store. Now, this is what the app is going to do, and this is what it looks like for now. All right. Come on. Cool. All right. I can see here it says data file found. I just pointed my finger, but you can't see that. Data file found, reading it to memory. You all, you all understand that later. All right, this is what I have so far. Don't worry about the buttons. I'll design one later. I'm lazy and not ambitious to draw buttons. Okay, and this is a combo generator. Also, first, I want to show you that don't worry how stupid the combos are. There's only like seven tricks in the memory right now. So when you add tricks to this, you actually generate random combos. Now, for now, it just gives you one of these. Is it seven? One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, one of these seven tricks, and doesn't give you any transitions or any variations. That'll all be taken care of. That's not what this this tutorial or this video is about. This is just getting the idea of what will be done, hopefully, in about two weeks. So you can add to the combo. You can take combos away. So you don't want to do cheat ten after five forty. Just keep going. It'll. You'll never get a combo that can't physically be done or I guess like can't theoretically be done even if you can't do it. I have other idea for better better apps later on, but don't worry about that. What's cool with this one is you can create a combo and if you like the combo you can save it for later. As saved a combo. You can't save that one directly again unless you either add to it or take from it. But regardless, you can save your combo and later on go to this next page which is kind of far from done. You'll actually see everything here. You'll be able to add your own combos by typing them in and some other cool stuff like that. As you can see, it remembers these combos. Even if you turn off your phone, turn it back on, you still have these combos in the memory, and you will be able to take them away or edit them however you please. So it's almost like having a little notepad for your tricks instead of typing them or writing them out on paper. And it, it could be fun to see what you could generate. All right. Now, the main point of this video, I want you guys just to uh, one, see what I'm working at. Oh, sorry, little disclaimer. Neat part is, Tap both and it resets it. That was kind of fun for me to program. Okay, so I have already talked to Jason Mello and he is designing a Dreadnought theme for this app. I made a little mock one just to to show. And voila, it can be a. I can make whatever I want be the background. And I am asking you guys to make background designs. I want uh, the community to put something into this just so it's not entirely from me and I want it to look however you guys want it to look so give me a layout just there's really not much more to it you can design buttons if you want try to keep them as like square or rectangle and I can implement them give me a background uh, you can draw where the, the tricks should come up or I can do that myself these buttons just give me a cool picture if you want make it as as intricate or as plain as you'd like. If I like it, I will put it in this menu and you will be able to choose whatever theme you want. The phone will memorize the theme so you can it'll always pop up that way. And yeah, make it a little a little personal for you. So you can also, if you'd like, draw up a picture for this. The dimensions for everything will be in the description. So again, read that. Also if you have any extra ideas, maybe something you would like to see an app like this do, or ideas for future apps, it doesn't matter. Let me know, I want to hear it, I want to work on other things. I've got a couple other ideas for apps, but I need more. Um, so if any of you are wondering, this app, when I do get it on the App Store, will be free entirely. When I make better apps, I might sell them for a dollar just because it cost me a hundred dollars just to put these on the marketplace. So we'll, but I'm not worried about that for now. I don't want to profit off this. I made this for the community. I want it to get out there as soon as possible. And from the people I've talked to, I've gotten some really good feedback. And some of you guys seem pretty excited about it. So just to let you guys know, I have been working on it. It should be done soon. I would like to submit this to the App Store in about two weeks. 
It usually takes about two weeks to a month to get verified, but I will constantly give you guys status reports as to what's going on, and yeah, help me make this look better. So that is it for now. Any suggestions, either comment or get to me on Facebook or email. Everything will be in the description. Either way, thank you guys for watching, and let me know what you think.